Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Fair Death here. I'm kind of sick right now, but I got some RH2 leaks, and you know I got to share with y'all boys. You feel me? We're all hyped for this game coming back. So I'm going to go ahead and cue the intro, and we get straight into it. Dropping another one this year. Niggas do well under pressure, but I bring a pressure. I'm about to go dumb with some this year. Falling like T Mac, you know, for when he played for Magic, the number one gun him in two years. Niggas still trying to be gay, but little nigga, you random and nigga, we know that you can't. Hey. Whole lot of gear, whole lot of, whole lot of ammo. Never steal boys on camo. Alright, yo, first thing first, shout out to my boy Revenge J, aka J Vert. I fuck with this dude heavy. He's the reason why we got these leaks out here. So his channel's on the screen right now. His link's in the description. Check him out. He's a cool dude. For real, for real. I fuck with him hard. But uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show off the actual uh, leaks that he showed off, right? Then I'm going to go into the depth, like end up ex examining the leaks, I guess you could say. Analyzing them. And afterwards, I'm going to show y'all like side information. I could tell y'all it's going to be in the game based on the information I got on Discord. The leaks that I got off of Discord, like animation leaks. And why I feel like the game has the potential that it has, you feel me? So first thing first, let's go ahead and react to the leaks that he showed off, you feel me? Alright, being shown on screen right now is clips from Jayvert's video. Look, okay, new bag move, hold on. Alright, we got new jump moves. That move right there is definitely new. That's a new move. Along with the animations are way smoother now. Hold on, hop step into a dunk. Alright, we got a little bit of a run hang now, better run physics. You know, so it's like, you feel me? Nothing really crazy from those, right? Nah, what we need to be talking about from these clips is this little move right here. You feel me? Look at the space created off this move. He goes from the top of the free throw line to damn near the right wing, back to the left wing. The space created on jump moves is crazy. I so might actually be possible in this game. Because as you remember, well, if you play the game, you remember it. I'll show clips on the screen. I saw in the game was possible and it was fun, but it was like... I don't even know how to put it. <laughs> you, you can see what we was doing. You feel me? But, uh, yeah. Now, another thing that worries me, people might disagree with my opinion on this, but I'm going to try to articulate myself properly to make a valid point on why I feel the way I feel. You feel me? All right, as you about to see on the screen now, the takeovers. All right, as you can see, it says select takeover, right? You know, that's normal. You got a bunch of options at the bottom. You got post bully, which probably boosts your post attributes like for post scorers. Clear for takeoff, which is a slasher thing. Long ranger for three point. Mid range mastermind for mid ranges. And then spotlight for spot ups. Bone collector for playmakers and dribblers. Perimeter enforcer for three point defense. And then gladiator for perimeter defense, most likely. Right? Okay, I have no problem with that. That's cool. You feel me? Now, the select team boost, right? As you see, it says encircle, which is not on the list. Which means there's different kind of, there's different takeovers for your team boost. And your team boost for okay for a circle, it says no easy buckets. Slightly boost your teammates block into your defense and rebound. Which means if this activates when I get takeover, it can't. If this bro, if your team boost activates when you get your takeover, that's basically giving your whole team takeover. You feel me? Like if let's say I had spotlight, right? Or if I had yeah, if I had spotlight, and let's say I had some type of team boost that buff my teammates shooting, that's basically my teammates getting sharp take or shooting take. Or one of the shooting takes, you feel me? So there has to be a different, which is why I assume there has to be a different way to do this, you know? But if they do team boost, it's like a team takeover thing. If I have team boost and my teammate has a team boost, because everybody has a team boost, you have two takeovers, and we had to get team takeover, that means six takeovers are gonna be activated, and one of the takeovers on each people will buff the whole team, you feel me? So if I'm on the three score and three of my teammates are running like, if two of them are running like a shooting team boost and I'm running a defense team boost and we get team takeover and all of that is on, like the team's going to be too buff, you know? So depending on how they do team boost, it can either make or break like builds in this game. Because what if I'm running with a lockdown teammate, I'm scoring all the points and I get like a lock team boost. He's not getting scored on ever, you know? So I feel like this isn't like executed properly, it can really break or make the game because that's like a big aspect takeover is a big aspect especially the main scorer is scoring to get his takeover and his takeover buffs his teammate that's gonna be wild two scores are gonna be like lethal threes is not as bad because it's not making take you but the twos can really be deadly if this isn't set up properly 
but uh that's my take on the takeovers <laughs> take on the takeovers i'm funny yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and answer some of the questions that i know y'all have and some of the questions i saw on discord and i'm gonna show evidence to back it up you feel me of what's going to be in the game and what i think won't be in the game i can't verify that it won't be in the game unless they already said it won't i'm gonna just go off of like the information we already got type shit now i saw somebody suggest basketball guys which if you don't know it's a 2k event you get a certain amount of wins couple hours you get like the uh, what's the egyptian the pharaoh the, the pharaoh high, whatever right now this game mode most likely is not coming to rh but it really is because they already said they're bringing events and they listed multiple and if you look at the uh wasteland it's pretty much the same thing so instead of getting the fairy you get a hazmat suit you feel me so they already said they're adding events they're just not gonna have the 2k names so you're getting what you want in your own way you feel me uh so i'll answer that question the next question was oh it's been a debate on if we'll get season like season pass or season rewards in rh2 now they've been calling it seasons like the actual devs have been calling it seasons but if you look at the screenshot i'm about to show now they said it's content seasons as in when it was in uh alpha when the game was an alpha right it was dropping content seasons it was like a new season game more animations more like content you feel me they never said a season pass now i'm not saying they won't add it because it's it's it's, it's like there's no reason to not add it i guess it gives people a reason to grind and then every time a new season drops it brings back players to grind again it's, it's just a refresh it, refresh it refreshes the game you feel me it brings new content for more enjoyment you know it keeps people playing so there's no reason to not add it but as of right now do i think they'll have it when the game drops probably not because they'll have us grinding rep rewards and grinding rep rather, rather than season rewards you feel me grinding to all-star to get whatever the all-star like go kart whatever it will be i don't know whatever all-star reward is but also trying to grind to level 40 at the same time it's just a lot of rewards in general and trying to come up with that content in a short period of time you know i don't really see it happening not when game drops maybe it comes like later on you feel me like content season uh content season like two or three they might add a season pass maybe but that's just my thoughts i'm not like you know this is my logic behind it but uh, y'all can think what y'all want y'all let me know in the comments if y'all think season pass is gonna drop off rip my friend hey yo, everything i'm saying leave your comments on your opinions you feel me i want to you know talk to y'all see what y'all think you feel me but uh, yeah i'm gonna get to the next one now this next topic i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna have to explain myself on this one i'm gonna show it on screen now all right these are my guesses on what each rep or the reps i think will be in the game and what i think the rewards will be right starting off at rookie i don't think you'll get much for rookie you get basic clothing basic animations nothing too special you feel me at pro it's not too high up there okay i'm assuming that they're gonna have rookie pro all-star superstar elite legend reason why rh2 is not i'm not gonna say it's a 2k copy right but it takes it it takes a lot of inspiration from 2k you feel me most of the aspects they have are from 2k you know what i'm saying but so i just assume i have like the same rep titles if they have their own understandable but i still assume it's around six you feel me so same thing rookie is probably the basic shit pro is slightly better for like advanced clothing i mean like you might get like maybe like a headband some glasses cooler looking clothing maybe uh my core customizations cooler animations like cooler jump shot landings uh introductions cooler walk animations run animations if they have it you feel me jerseys just because it's advanced clothing i just want to put it separate all-star they already said they're adding vehicles to the game well they took a poll on it asking if we would want it and everybody said yes so if they didn't add it it'd be a shock to everybody real talk everybody's also been asking for tattoos so if everybody's asking for it i assume because rh2 is pretty good listening to the community and they don't add it honestly it'd be kind of difficult hoops life added it but they didn't add it like a a custom tattoo thing you just wear tattoos that were pre-made like rh2 could find a way to do it that'd be tough backpacks just because backpacks is normally like an all-star reward it's nothing too crazy but if nobody has it it looks comp as hell you feel me rb world 3 when backpacks dropped everybody went crazy but everybody was wearing them so it looked bummy you feel me if backpacks are hard to get everybody would rock them because rb world 4 backpacks is going crazy superstar now my reason for feeling like they're adding mascots 
is because there was the uh i'm gonna show it on screen it was like the rh2 sports store i guess and they have their own league it's like wisconsin it's wisconsin something okay but if you look at the logo like the actual game covers there's custom teams you feel me like they have their own league so they made mascots for their teams i'd grind for it you feel me elite i said suits and better vehicles because you got vehicles at all star probably like a skateboard or a bike or some shit at elite you probably get like maybe like a little golf cart not golf cart specifically but you know what I'm saying? something better you know what i mean suits because everybody wants suits and it's just i don't know i was like i didn't know where to put suits at i would have put it like all star maybe superstar but 2k had it as an elite so i just assumed they'd take that shit from 2k now legend i'm not gonna lie obviously all the rewards i put up here i don't think this is what legend's gonna get right I was thinking special loading intros. Me and my homeboys, we talked about this. Me and uh, Pluto, Fear of Pluto, Fear of Balling, Fear of Dreams, we talked about this. We can't load in on a blimp, bro. Nobody on Roblox is going to be able to load in a fat ass blimp. Y'all barely run 30 FPS. <laughs> Y'all not about to like. Bro, imagine somebody, a legend loads in, right? He's on a blimp or a helicopter. Half the server is crashing right there. That's not going to work. You feel me? The plus 10 badges, I thought it would be kind of like unbalanced but like there's not too much you can give us you know like more vehicles would be cool i guess but it's like we want gameplay aspects because like 2k wise they did the plus 10 badges which is cool and it worked out a lot of you can, once you hit legend you come a demigod kind of we didn't want the vip off the spots because that's just aggravating unlimited boost i thought that's reasonable because boost isn't too big of a difference because it's plus five but the only real reward you could possibly get is that plus 10 badges. Okay, and we're looking at previous 2K Legend reward, you feel me? You always get like the loading animation. But like, I'm not gonna be able to just like come in and crash the server, you feel me? I'm gonna come in here looking like, like. I don't even know. Imagine you just flying in on a helicopter, half the server crash. Like, that's gonna be the most hated thing ever. Nobody's gonna wanna hit Legend. Nobody's gonna be able to, like, if you imagine hitting Legend and your PC just can't run. Now you're playing on a laptop, hey legend. There's no point. So these are my like my predictions on what the rip rewards will be. Comment down below if you think I should move stuff around and tell me what y'all think the rip rewards will be because I want to know. I need more suggestions. You want more people to talk about it and like try to predict what's coming just for the fun of it. It's enjoyable to like guess what's gonna happen. But uh, yeah, that's the. Mm, I'm trying to think of anything I would add because previous to like look at okay obviously let me let me say this. Rep rewards are also going to include probably, uh, I don't know if the, I was going to say banners, but they didn't say banners were, like, verified. Or not verified, but, like, um, what's it called, what's it called, uh, guaranteed to come. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say there's going to, like, input ver banners. Now, most likely with each rep, we didn't know if it's going to be, we assume it's going to be, like, three, so like, rookie one through three, pro one through three. And we're going to, I'm guessing you're getting animations, like, rookie animations, pro animations, all-star. They probably be like you probably get animations for each one, you know what I mean? Except Legend. But like you probably get certain animations, like intro animations for each rap, I ain't gonna lie. Because there's not too much you could give us. You might get like certain badges, I guess. Like maybe you get like two times takeovers, you know what I mean? Or some shit like that. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to the next category now. You feel me? Alright. I'm not gonna lie. I saw this suggestion. This will literally make RH2 possibly the most. Bro, I don't even know what to say. I feel <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this, bro. I will literally give voice chat just for RH2. I feel if they do it though. They shouldn't make it just your team though. I feel like you should be people on the court. So if I'm on the court playing like the, the two squares, I should really hear the other two people too. You feel me? Sure, that ruins the communication aspect, but it's more. 2k is the same way if you want to hear just your teammate download discord you know what i mean but being able to talk to the whole court that's so tough because i would be so toxic let somebody pull up saying fear came bro. i would talk crazy and then drop them off like this will make the game so much more. i ain't gonna lie people be punching holes in the wall bro like <laughs> i ain't gonna lie this will be enjoyable just trolling people bro or even not even that but like let's say like not for me, but like for like big YouTubers. Imagine pulling up like one of your favorite YouTubers type of shit and just being able to talk to them. Even though you're gonna lose, most likely. Like, if you lose, or even if you win, you can talk to them and just like get to talk to people you wanted, you know? 
not saying that isn't me, but let's say like, oh no, who's the example? Like Vince. I know Vince. I saw Vince on Hoop Central. He has what he said. Let's just put more Vince, you know, bro. Like being able to just talk to him on the game, talk to my vibe, you know? Or if you pull up on somebody with a random, afterwards you can talk to the person with the random and be like, spin back. Obviously, you could type it, but it's just more like, it's more, people feel more real when you're talking, you feel me? I just want to be a cool thing to add. If they don't, I really wouldn't care. I don't, I understand, I could type, but voice chat would just be a cool little side feature. The only problem is everybody doesn't have it, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I got, uh, that boy Nas was doing, when the game first shut down, he was doing these silent dev streams, where he'll, like, stream him making animations and shit for the game, so I can vouch that the, uh, I wanna say the normal moving behind the back is the Scotty Pippen behind the back from 2K, I believe, I know he did the Kyrie package she did the curry package but basically the drum package is the way he does it these are i think the animations are actually tough he legit goes frame by frame like he'll watch a 2k the 2k he watched the 2k version of it legit and like completely slowed down and completely copy it frame by frame onto roblox so legit if you get your 2k sigs bro they'll look identical as long as they just get like the physics right with the animation, the game should be tough dribbling wise and animation wise. You feel me? Should it be too slidey to get it right? But uh, I was trying to send the videos because I screen recorded on my phone, but I don't got Nitro right now, so I can't even send it over. Which is L me. But if you want to see it, just DM me on Discord. My Discord is linked in the description, and it's like everywhere. So just DM my Discord. I see the video. But uh, fucking, if you like this video. If you feel like I have some valid points, leave a like, subscribe. I know we don't do talking videos like this. I drop content. But, uh, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, like up, subscribe, turn on noties. I plan on dropping videos probably every week to two weeks now. I'm trying to get back into the YouTube because, you know, your school started. But, uh, join the Discord below. Sub up to Jvert or my fault, Revenge J. That nigga tough. Thank him for all these leaks. Well, not all of them, most of the leaks in the video, beginning. Most information, guys, because of him. And, uh, have a nice day. Peace out.